Hey guys, welcome to Sippin' and Spillin' with Sid from Three Mississippi. Ooh. I'm just slamming things around in my truck. I just got out of church a little while ago. I'm waiting on Mike and Frank because they're in choir practice. And we get to come back tonight because we're um, decorating the church and the Family Life Center tonight. And um, we get to, they're doing a new tradition this year since we have a new uh, new preacher and his wife are very involved in the church. Not that our last one wasn't, but they are like uber involved in stuff, which I love. Um, and so Miss Nancy, the preacher's wife was like, we need one in the family life center, a tree. We need to decorate in there because we spend more time in there during events, during the season than we do in, um, in the sanctuary, you know? The sanctuary is really mostly just for the church services and we all the events and all of the you know the christmas parade we open up the family life center and we're doing soup which i volunteered to head up this year where we serve soup to the community and let people come in and hang out out of the cold uh, while they're waiting for the parade to start and so i'm excited about that it's my first big thing that i'm kind of heading up on my by myself um so that's exciting but they're starting a new tradition where everybody bring a, an ornament to that, that symbolizes their family to decorate the tree. So I thought, what better than, than our three Mississippi ornament that, that our friend and neighbor Alan made to, to put on the tree later. So I, I grabbed it this morning to throw in my purse so that later when I go back to church, I won't forget a plan to hit. So I'm excited about that. That's going to be, that's going to be fun. And, uh, this was a big week guys. I, um, Thursday on Thanksgiving, we had a nice mellow Thanksgiving. We went over to our neighbors in the morning for brunch, like, uh, like we do for, for Sunday lunch. Um, we just went over a little earlier and had a lovely time with them. And then, um, Mike and Frankie went out hunting and I stayed home and with my crippled back <laughs> and, um, I cooked a very minimal Thanksgiving meal for just the three of us. And we watched a couple Christmas movies and just sort of kept it low key. Cause my back was still my back is still not 100%. It's much better. Um, I'm probably at like a three to four right now on the pain scale. Whereas before I was at like, I was at a, I hate to say I was at like a 10, but I was there for about two days. I couldn't stand up straight and I couldn't hardly walk without, you know, that the old um, Brothers Grimm fairy tale about the little mermaid where when she gets her legs and they describe it as a, uh, it feels like she's walking on swords because it's like stabbing her legs with each step. That's what I felt like. Um, so lots of lighted arm patches and muscle relaxers and, and NSAIDs <laughs> um, have helped me through. Um, so I'm hoping that tomorrow I can really start doing some of my stretches and some of my exercises that I know help with my back to really get it, get everything rocking and rolling again. But we had a very nice mellow Thanksgiving and I decided on Thanksgiving since uh, our little, our newest addition, No Way, our little uh, outside kitty that is joining Bunko. She'd been locked up for a little over a month uh, in her little kitty condo and I've been taking her out and loving on her and, and kind of let her walk on the, the couch on the porch and stuff. And um, her little collar came with her, her name and my phone number uh, like embroidered on it. Um, so I thought, well, perfect. This is a good time to let her out today since I'll be home most of the day. And she is a little adventurer. Let me tell you, she sits and has coffee with me in the morning with Bunko and they play and they're getting along great. Last night I sat on the porch with them for a little while and he was grooming her and they're really great. He tends to stay closer to home. Um, he does go out to the culvert at the pasture and stuff and like this morning it was raining and he heard me out with the dogs and he came running up from there soaking wet and not happy because the rain nobody was expecting this rain that came through this morning and um, she was already gone she'd already gone out for the day and uh, normally the last few days she's waited until till I go in or till I'm close to going in after some cuddles before she takes off and Bunko will stay for a little while longer before he goes and he'll kind of usually go with me on my rounds for feeding everybody and all that. She hightailed it out this morning and probably hunkered down somewhere when the rain started. Um, and, uh, but she comes in like clockwork once it gets dark, she comes up to the porch and uh, she's been doing well. 
So I do know for a fact though that she met the electric fence because I found she has one of those breakaway collars and I found it broken away on the electric fence the, the first night out. So I know she went over to go meet the chickens and got stuck in the electric fence, but she was fine. I saw her, seen her since then, obviously. Um, so she's doing great and she's getting along with Bunko and she seems to be, um, you know, she's used to, she was already probably, we estimate probably around seven or eight months. And, um, so she's, you know, she had been living in town here. Um, and so who knows how far she'd been wandering from home base then. I think she was staying pretty close to, to the restaurant, which is right back that way. Um, but she seems to like her new digs and she's been, you know, kind of, uh, when you call her, she's been coming if she's within earshot. Um, if she's on the porch and on the other side and I say her name, she perks up and comes over. Um, just like, you know, if Bunko hears me calling him, he comes running. Um, so that's kind of nice. She's, she's getting the, getting the feel of it. She's just so tiny. I do worry about her cause she is awful tiny. Um, it's just, she's just a small kitty, but, uh, she'll, she'll puff out a little bit cause Bunko was pretty tiny when I got him and, uh, he's, you know, he's bulked up a bit. So we'll see. And he's a good little hunter. He, he brings me all kinds of rodents and stuff. So one time he left me a snake on the front porch. He loves to do things like that. It's very, he's in the giving spirit. What can I tell you? But yeah, so just kind of the last couple days, you know, I sort of, I did a lot of editing and I didn't do a whole lot of much because my back was still been kind of recovering. Mike and Frankie went out hunting a few times. In fact, uh, if you saw yesterday's video on Three Mississippi, Sunday's release, um, you know that they uh, they did go out and they went hunting a couple times. That was sort of a compilation of the first few hunts of the season. Um, I won't spoil it for you, but you'll have to watch and see. Um, but they do plan on, Mike's gonna go out tonight uh, by himself hunting. Um, gotta put that meat in the freezer. Frankie's gonna be with me at church. And um, and I know that they've got a few days that they've planned to, to try to go out, the two of them, uh, to, to go hunting again, because he doesn't want her going out by herself just yet. Um, I, I'm sure she could, but uh, I think for, you know, I think she needs a few more hunts under her belt maybe another season or so um, before she can just go out on her own to go hunt. So, and it's good bonding time for them. You know, it's a, it's a good thing for them to go do together. Um, you know, uh, and next year, Frankie's already said, cause I said I wanted to go out and, and hunt at least, a, I won't have the time to go hunt quite as steadily as they do. Um, but I'm going to try to get out there once or twice and try my hand at it. I will be practicing, you know, uh, with the rifle ahead of that, um, because I don't have a lot of experience shooting the rifle. Um, I've, I've shot them like a handful of times and I need, I need more practice to be more comfortable with it, you know, pistols and, and, um, things like that. I'm, I'm more comfortable with, uh, you know, the, even the 22 that we have, the LR, I've only shot it a few times. Um, so I just need a little more, a little more practice with the deer rifle to feel a little more comfortable with it um, before I decide to go try to take a deer, you know, because that's one of my things. It's like when we started processing animals, I wanted to make sure that I was capable of doing it on my own with minimal amount of suffering or screw ups due to the fact that I just was hesitating or didn't know what I was doing. So I really, I watched it firsthand. I, um, I really practiced, I guess you could say, um, so that I could get to the point where I knew I was doing it as efficiently and as effectively as I could with minimal issue. And the same thing would be said for when you're going to go out hunting, because I don't want to, I don't want to be out there gut shot and deers, you know, <laughs> I want to make sure that I'm, I'm getting a good lung shot and I'm, and I'm dropping them effectively. Um, so that, you know, there's minimal suffering and, and, and issues like that. And that you don't lose your target, you know, that you don't lose the, the game that you were hunting and that it, you know, that I don't just wound it and send it off into the oblivion, you know, um, that's just part of being, 
a, a responsible steward of 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 hunting and and managing the herd and the land and all of that. So anyway, so that's my that's my game plan. But that's next year. And Frankie already said that she wanted to be wanted to take me out once at least, just her and I. So um, so I think that'll be a good a good thing to go do. And who knows? Maybe she'll be good luck for me, and I'll get my first year with her. We'll see. That'd be nice. It'd be nice if I could get my first year with her. Because I love my husband's but husband, but um, sometimes when he and I do things together that he's more knowledgeable about, he will tend to, and he doesn't do this with Frankie, I've noticed. He really only does it with me. <laughs> but I don't know why. Um, he kind of like over hover or over explain or like over insert himself. And I don't know if it's because he worries that I'm going to mess it up or he worries about me. I don't know. But sometimes I'm just like, I need you to let me, let me figure it out a little bit. Um, so sometimes I do better if somebody else shows me something or somebody else is with me. Um, so maybe I'll be, be good to just have her and I out there. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but man, I am tired. I just, with having my back out the last few days, I have not had restful nights of sleep. It's been a lot of up and down and like I would start to move or get comfortable in my sleep and roll a little bit and the sharp pain would wake me back up and then it would take me a while to get comfortable again. And so, um, I feel like I need one or two really good nights of sleep. Um, so hopefully tonight after church, we can, uh, I can get home and kind of get to bed and, and take a, take a break, but that's what's going on guys. So, um, you know, go check out Sunday's video if you didn't on Three Mississippi about the first, the beginning of the hunting season. And I hope y'all are having an amazing week. I hope you had a fabulous Thanksgiving. And uh, until next time, guys, stay blessed and safety's on.